Ladies and gentlemen, most of the time when I make a video talking about a clout chaser, it's just some idiot in some store licking some ice cream or just making a fool of themselves in a video in a graveyard or something like that, right? Well, today's rendition is going to basically be me showing you guys an entire social media platform. And that is something that I never thought was going to happen, but today's clout chaser is actually Gab, which is a website that I, I'm not too familiar with, or at least I wasn't until this whole thing happened. Now, I'm vaguely familiar with it just enough because of people telling me, oh, you know, Optimus, this is a website, bro, you need to be on. I promise you, it's just like Twitter, and it's good. It, it's just, it's so informative, and I'm telling you what, man, you're gonna really enjoy it. I've had a couple people tell me this, and I've never taken it seriously because it's like, it's like a lot of these other websites, right? Like, people always tell me like, oh, bro, you should go to one of these, you know, YouTube clones or one of these YouTube competitors. It's just like YouTube. And then I'm like, okay, well, that sounds pretty good. Uh, wh what is it? And they're like, oh, well, there's like 14 users on the website. And then I'm like, okay, so there's no point. Well, in Gab's situation, at least there isn't 14 users on the platform, but they are clout chasing to a degree that is just completely fucking ridiculous. Now, this all started over what might be the most ridiculous reason that I've ever named off in a YouTube video in my career, but this this whole thing is essentially over internet porn. Now Gab is basically vocal for this side of the internet and this side of politics that wants to ban internet porn because they claim that it's dangerous to the human mind, okay? They think that it damages the human brain. They think that it's dangerous to children because kids are on the internet as well and stuff like that. They don't want kids to have access to this kind of stuff. Now, don't worry, you can disregard all your personal feelings about that regardless of how you feel. It's not really gonna matter because they're clout chasing it's not about that, okay? Well, I mean, it is about that, but your personal feelings don't really need to be wrapped up in all that. So, basically, they've been using their Twitter to scream about how they want porn banned. And, of course, there are going to be people who disagree with you on the internet. There are going to be people who disagree with what you have to say, especially when you say something like that. Believe it or not, a lot of people here on the internet really do enjoy that kind of stuff. I don't know if you guys know this, but many of the most popular websites on the internet are actually porn sites. So, with all of that being said, basically, they are clout chasing as a marketing tactic to get people on their website by using this issue in specific. Now, okay, so it's pretty clear that when they can make it convenient for themselves, they're gonna draw everything I'm about to tell you guys back to a grand plan to, quote, get thousands of people to market and talk about their brand for free. Now, the thing is, if everyone is universally shitting on your brand and declaring it to be a complete dumpster fire, then there's really not too much for you to salvage from that. Now, when you think about it, what would you be looking for? Like, what, one out of every 1,000 people to go to Gab for two minutes and to never go back because it's just not a good product? I mean, at the end of the day, you'll eventually have to face the fact that if you come onto Twitter and, quote, market in this manner by blatantly attention-seeking and chasing clout by BSing everything, you're just not providing a good product. I mean, no good platform has to do this. You don't see any other brands out here having to act this way in order to garner attention to themselves because they're actually focused on making a product worth going on to and spending time on. Gab is not. Gab is so not focused on doing this that they actually don't even seem to use their own website whatever. I mean, I can't blame them though. It, it's complete garbage. I'm going to show you guys that and literally everything I'm about to show you is just such an insane clout chase that it just, I don't know, man. It, it's nuts is all I can really say. We're going to go ahead and break this whole thing down and just expose the whole situation. So let's just go ahead and I guess dive headfirst into the entire shitstorm that is the Gab Twitter account. One post that I find extremely ironic from them, especially about this whole thing, is that Reddit is a porn platform. Twitter is a porn platform. They are complicit. Gab refuses to be Gab leads. Yeah, Gab refuses to be complicit like Twitter. That's why they almost exclusively use Twitter. As a matter of fact, Gab tweets dozens if not hundreds of times each and every day, which is odd because if you refused to be complicit with a platform like Twitter, you certainly wouldn't use it no matter what the reason behind that is. I mean, personally speaking, let's say I was going to refuse to be complicit with people who eat pineapple on their pizza. 
I would not then go to a pineapple pizza forum using their site for 13 hours a day, generating a bunch of advertisement revenue, buying a membership there so I could preach how much I hate pineapple pizza. At this point, not only are you being complicit, you're just being stupid and, and you're not leading. I mean, I never expected you to, of course, but you know, you're on this high horse preaching some moral authority over people acting like you're holier than thou and, and like your platform is worth something when it really isn't. Now with that last statement in mind, I wanted to take a look at Gab and see what all of the commotion really led to here. So I checked out the trends, which is like the central hub of the site to catch up on all of the breaking news that has made its way onto the website. And I immediately noticed something that was really weird. Now the Gab Twitter intern or whoever's running it, I'm hoping that it's an intern, was talking a whole boatload of shit about how much great engagement they had with this chart, right? Keep this chart in mind. We're gonna bring this up here in a minute. Go ahead and take a pretty good look at this. Uh, we'll bring this whole thing back up here in a second, but when you go here, okay, it's literally just a ghost town, okay? The top post on the entire trends page has 53 comments, zero likes, and 20 thumbs down. The top trending story currently has 28 comments and four dislikes. Now, what platform would ever call this a trending page? I don't know. At this point, just rebrand this. You can say whatever you want about the YouTube trending page. It has its flaws, but at least you have to engage with the content or pay your way onto the spots. At least that's a conspiracy. This is just saddening. It's depressing. I figured that these stories had to have significant amounts of views and that maybe they just weren't getting interaction and that they just had a broken algorithm for promoting their content, but no. The top trending story has a whopping 460 views as of me making this, and the top post overall on the website has a whole staggering 1,000 views. Okay, wow, man, they this is the engagement that this Twitter intern was bragging about with this chart. Look at how many users they're getting onto their site, bro. But yet you can't crack any engagement on the trending page, which what it, what appears to me at least to be the most active page of your website. And another thing I find really funny is this little bit right here. So someone calls the idiot running the Gab Twitter account out for how the stupidity that they've been mustering up has been causing them to bleed followers. And they reply with, quote, I call this Coomer self-deportation. Good, imagine caring about your Twitter followers. So first off, nothing is more cringy and ridiculous than a brand trying to use like internet slang and memes like Coomer to try and make points. Especially when you're trying to take a high road and make a solid moral point, you just look like an idiot. But even funnier is that the same person who is essentially making the argument, quote, imagine caring about your numbers online, then replies to Bo Blacks by saying, quote, that's 2.7 million visits to one of our domains last month alone, you dopey idiot. Stick to video game videos or whatever it is you do. Also, imagine caring about your Twitter followers, but here's a tweet in which I'll randomly bring up your viewer counts for your live streams, right? <laughs> yeah, who cares about these arbitrary numbers anyway? I only care about them when it can benefit Gab's point or I can use them as an insult because I have an argument with the consistency of runny pancake mix. Now, it's funny how this guy thinks that that the only type of video on YouTube is just video game video, then, you know, then again, you'd have to like actually leave Twitter to know what's going on on other websites, right? Then again, flexing these numbers is just, uh, yeah. 2.1 million people use Gab products every month. Think you can do better? Here's our code. Here's what's funny about this, and, and you may not find this funny, but I do. I don't need their website code to beat these numbers. Yeah, in the last 28 days, I've almost doubled these numbers, and I'm pretty much irrelevant in the grand scheme of things on YouTube. I don't even have 500,000 subscribers, you know? There, there's people out here who get these type of views in a day, maybe even in an hour, and, and these guys are trying to flex numbers that some insignificant YouTuber is doubling in one month. But hey, maybe I had an off month, right? Yeah. Well, let's go to my worst month of 2019 views-wise. 3 million views. Declined big time. I mean, Jesus, that was just, that was not an increase, obviously. I feel like I have to point this out for the Gab intern watching the video because they don't know. But still had one million more views than the people who use your products monthly. And I think that it speaks volumes about what you're trying to say because you're out here trying to flex those numbers like there's something incredible when in reality some rando on YouTube is bossing you up. So I'd say you have some work to do for everything that you're trying to flex here, so... Twitter could ban us tomorrow when Gab would continue to grow and would still be standing. What would you do if YouTube and Twitter banned you tomorrow? You'd be applying for jobs. Lesson in there. 
I think the real lesson in there is that maybe you just don't know how to do a simple Google search on the person that you're arguing with. By the way, it was Keemstar, okay, who love him or hate him has maintained his status as one of YouTube's most relevant people for longer than some of the people who use the platform have even been alive now. I mean, just do a Google search on his net worth, $2 million. That's the estimate, okay? Knowing Keemstar and how long he's been relevant, how much stuff that he's invested into, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was higher, not gonna lie. Keemstar will never have a quote-unquote regular job in his life ever. You will never see this man working in a McDonald's or an office ever. Unless he just decides one day that he's gonna go out here and, and throw money out in the streets, you know? Meanwhile, the only form of marketing that Gab has is Twitter, and your marketing clearly shows that it, it's just not working out for you. And another thing that I love is how much they try and argue that they're not not, quote, built on big tech, okay? What they fail to realize is that big tech is pretty much all that they have. Sure, they're not literally owned by big tech, you know, they're not directly on a big tech platform, but I guess that the person here is just not savvy enough to know what they're talking about, okay? Let me break this one down for everyone who's not understanding. Number one, all of Gab, all their marketing, takes place basically on Twitter, one of the largest social media companies on the planet, okay? And if they do any paid marketing, it's likely all through Google's network or one of the other major, you know, marketing networks, which let's be honest, they're all still big tech. So yeah, all of your marketing, it's through big tech and it's through social media. Number two, your server and your domain hosting is most likely not being ran on an independent server. It's probably all done through a major service like Cloudflare or GoDaddy, for example. Actually, now that you mention it, I know that you're hosted on Cloudflare because I searched up your domain on the Whois registry database and it tells you exactly what server the domain is registered to. So you're not running an independent server for your website. You rely on big tech to do that for you. You aren't actually writing any of your stories either, it seems, because the they all just link back to the mainstream media or some other major publication. Everything I saw on your trending page just literally redirects outside of your website unless you read the little paragraph at the top. So yeah, you're, you're not actually writing any of your own content. In fact, you're not even putting any of those up yourself. Actually, you encourage everyone to paste the URLs to start the trends for you. And when it comes down to it, most likely you have a script on the website to just take like the first paragraph out of the article and a thumbnail and put it up for you. So yeah, that, that content is done by big tech for you or big media, I should say, who are all also in cahoots with big tech because everything they do is ran through big tech. So when it also comes down to it, all of your search rankings and indexing on Google and other search engines, which is something that is critical for a website's growth, is obviously all handled by big tech. You know, Google, Microsoft, depending on whatever browser or whatever you're using. I mean, thinking about it, you literally do almost nothing for your site by yourself. If anything, you do pretty much nothing at all for yourself, except make a bunch of bullshit tweets. Yet you're still trying to speak down on YouTube creators on Twitter who essentially do everything for themselves except for actually host their own content. I'm not surprised given what I've seen, but if you're gonna make these types of claims, at least know what you're saying. And then here's where they keep up the goofiness. They've got no advertising budget, an incredibly small team, they're banned from both app stores and other distribution channels, and apparently faced a multi-year smear campaign from the media, and with all this as a storm, they think these numbers are great. I can't imagine why they don't have an advertising budget though, you know? It couldn't be because 80% of the company resources are currently being spent about arguing porn bans with people on Twitter, so... Yeah, I guess that's uh, I guess that's where all the finances have gone. Now, they claim that GabTrends.com has 3 million visits a month, which is another domain that they own, which, go ahead and take a look at this and tell me, does this look like a webpage getting 3 million people visiting it a month? Forgive me for being just a tad bit suspicious, but you would think that there's one of two things wrong here. Number one would be that a webpage getting millions of viewers per month can't manage, what, you know, 250 comments on a page at one time? Or two, there's just no way that 3 million views per month is legitimate as a number for this platform. There's a miscount or the number's been tampered with or, or something. There, there's something going on, okay? Something just doesn't make sense. So I tried looking the domain up in the Alexa rankings, but there's just so little information on it that it doesn't have an Alexa ranking. This could be because the domain launched in October and Alexa ranks a web page based off of three months of data, but all of this really means is that the data isn't verifiable by anyone on the outside and that these numbers can't be taken seriously since there's no solid trustworthy proof 
other than we said so. There's no screenshot, there's no chart, there's no data, there's nothing. There is literally no way to prove that this happened. Meanwhile, if you want to try and verify any of my statistics that I've proven for myself here, I showed the screenshot, and you can go on Social Blade, and while the numbers aren't 100% accurate, they're accurate enough to at least verify to a certain degree that I'm not bullshitting. I went pretty hard on this one, I know, I went extremely hard on this one, but I think it's kind of ridiculous when a website stoops this low to get themselves a little bit of attention. There is absolutely no reason that a website like Gab has to go to the point of not not even you basically abandoning their website and using a completely different website to incite clout chasing maneuvers in order to get themselves some attention so thank you guys for watching this video though if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel follow me over on twitter at sub optimus i post memes thoughts and updates over there it's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content join the discord down below lots of great things going on down there as well Thank you to my channel members, your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video guys, this is Optimus. I, I guess having to roast this social media platform and signing out.